with two other countries in your alliance that you don't share a language with. How does that, how does that work? Usually, <coughs> English works. And, and it's like robotics is a common language. So uh, when we show each other as robots and what the robots are capable of, then uh, we can do it and, and we see what the other alliance, uh, other, other teams in the alliance are capable of. And so we can work together and, and discuss who is good at uh, picking up uh, the solar panels, who is good picking up the boxes and so on, turning the windmill. And when you're talking about you know, teams being good at doing something in particular, what would you say that the strength of your team is? Um, our team is, is basically is, is, an, is an overall good team. Um, they are very good uh, in focusing on, on specific tasks. Uh, they created a very good robot which can do basically anything of, of the three uh, most uh, crucial parts, like uh, bringing in parts, and it's fast as well. And uh, we, we never should forget the human part, which plays a big role in here. We've got a human person who is picking up light panels and so on, and we've got the controllers, the drivers, and they have to focus and they have to do their job as well. And Balaj, you had mentioned the human part, and that's something that you also <laughs> bring to the table as a mentor. What has that experience for you personally been like? Uh, it's, it's great to see robotics, and, and first global challenge, of course, is, is something uh, very special, because it's, it's not just about programming, not just about building or creating robots, it's about uh, collaboration, it's about working together. And, and, and collaboration, uh, not just between all the countries and the alliances, but between, first uh, between the teams.